Well, good morning, folks. I finally got up this morning. Uh, detected yesterday, metal detected the day before that. Found some pretty good stuff. That farm has had Civil War uh, history to it. They didn't know if it did or not, but I detected it for a couple of days and found, I don't know, 13, 14 rounds of bullets and and an old silver coin and a pie pan for turkey <laughs> making turkeys <laughs> yeah you know, you'll have to see that on that video but anyway i'm riding around down here in fort Payne, alabama not far from the farm here going to check out this museum here it's a museum of the group alabama that Played for so many years country music. They made so many hits year after year after year. They started in the early 80s and uh, went all the way through and they're still playing. But uh, I'm going to go in and check it out and take you with me if you want to go and check out their, uh, their museum. But uh, I'll turn the camera around. Well, first I've got to get out of the vehicle. Turn the camera around and show you the outside of it here. And uh, we'll go take a look through and see what it's all about. Let's go check them out. Well, here it is. Look how huge this building is. Alabama Fan Club and Museum. And over here, a picture of Randy Owen in the middle, Jeff Cook on the left, and Teddy Gentry on the right. Jeff's uh, no longer with us now he's done passed on but we'll go inside here and check it out look at this look at that stained glass of those folks I'm sure them's all number one hits that they've had through the years Many, 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 many number ones. I used to listen to them growing up back in the early 80s, all the way through the 90s, even now. They still tour, they're on tour. When I was that day I was there, I talked to the Lathe Museum, and she said that they were on tour at that moment somewhere. But uh, if I slow down this pattern, you might be able to see the name of some of the songs, but don't look like I'm going to do that. See Southern Star there. here on the top left up there a song called Feel So Right I heard Randy say on the on TV show that uh, he bought his home with that one song <laughs> that's a that was a big number one hit for them wow how cool Here's an old reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder called an Ampex. The lady said that Jeff Cook had it in his studio three years ago. I'd say they'd done some recording on that thing. Look at them the, all together. Back in the day, check them out. There's a Richard Petty guitar. Country music. I see Alan Jackson over here on the left. Over here, 
Jinkies, Gags, all kinds of folks. There's the 18 wheeler they used to travel, and I used to see it on TV back in the day. Oh, here's uh, Jeff Cook's guitars. Ovation guitar. Farewell tour, Salem tours. Wow! Oh, look, look at look at look at Jeff Cook's fiddles. He played a mean fiddle. I'm sure, he had many of them. We had many guitars, that's for sure. played a main guitar too. He played a double neck. I hadn't seen it. I didn't see it in here. Wow. So cool. Look, this is the van that they used when they was first started. Called, they called herself Wild Country. So they traveled everywhere were in that thing. Traveling, singing. Check that sign out what it says. They called it the Blue Goose. <laughs> All kind of artifacts here, a lot of their history. Twelve string electric. Check out all that stuff. Autographed by St. Jude's Hospital. All the trophies. Here we have Teddy Gentry. It's he played bass, sung vocals, sings vocals. Check him out there. A lot of history made right here and over the years. With Lionel Richie there. Just so much to look at here. I'm I'm missing so much stuff. Them boys all were cousins here. There's Randy. Randy Owen, he the leader, the main vocal of the group, lead vocal. They all, them all them boys is right there from Fort Payne, Alabama there, him and Jeff and Teddy. My, my, my. Them boys there made history. They did. There's a gift from Carl Perkins. <laughs> this here, that pot right there, they used that for tips. That was when it was wild country singing. They said that's the original pot that they used, a kettle. Wild country. So as they started. A 
Wow. This is just unreal. A lot of history made here. Feels so right, yeah. They got a big truck, big, big award for that. Well, we get ready to go outside and check out their statues of them out there out front. It's not real close to the building, just a little ways out. We'll go check them out. But this is their top songs, of top 43 number one songs. Unreal. Hey, everybody. We went through the museum and come back out. and I'm out here now in front of the uh, where the statues is at. And uh, we'll kind of look at the, the plaques. I got some plaques here on the on the ground here. So uh, let's take a look at it. Sorry about this traffic. It's loud, I know, but uh, see if we can get through the traffic part. Over here we have uh, Jeff Cook. He was lead guitar picker and played fiddle. All sorts of instruments, and Randy here in the middle. He's, he is, he's the lead singer of the group, Randy Owen. Got Mark Herndon here, he is the drummer for him. Over here you have Teddy Gentry, played bass. Them guys played for many, many years, still playing, still playing out here. So folks, I thank you so much for being with us today from uh, Fort Payne, Alabama, where I'm now. I'm head back to West Virginia here in a little bit. So thank you all for being with me, and we'll catch you next time on Appalachian Roots with Dan. Thank you so much for joining with us. Mm -hmm.